Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to be talking about, we're gonna have a tea talk today. And I already started my fall decorating. So we got my pumpkin right there. I don't have too much fall decorations, but we got quite a bit. And we got my tea mug that says quit witching and I'm drinking my woman's cycle tea, if you're curious. So pause this video, go grab yourself some tea cause we're gonna have a tea talk about new chapters. Hi guys, real quick before we get started, I just wanna let you know I pre-filmed this video about three weeks ago and just got slammed busy with the wedding, school, and family. Here is my wedding ring. I'm officially Mrs. Poisson, woohoo! So let's get right back into the, the video and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about new chapters in your life, my life, what's going on. We're gonna have another life chat, guys. Tea talk. Now if you guys like these tea talks, definitely hit that like button down below. This might be the new theme, especially since I can't do too many videos with school on my busy life schedule. This past week, I've just been really contemplating how I like want to live my life moving forward from this point on. Chapters, because there's so much new things happening in my life and I just want to, you know, bring those moments in and kind of eliminate the stress. Now. As you know, I'm gonna be getting married in seven days. Oh my God, guys, I cannot believe getting married is a week away, seven days. And this is so exciting. This is the new chapter in my life and I'm actually pretty happy that we're getting married in September 15th because it is the new, you know, month, the new season, the season going into fall, we're going into a new season. So embrace that, embrace the new season. What is, what is it that you wanna change about your life? what is not working for you, and just embracing the new chapters in your life. And I always see the new seasons as new chapters in my life. Especially this chapter of my life is really special, so you might not have such an extreme thing happening or an extreme big thing happening in your life, but it could be anything that's happening in your life or anything that you want to implement into your life. And I'm just so excited because I just have this really positive energy emanating in me right now. And I think it's because last night I did a fitness, well, two days ago, I did this dance class and I just sweat out a lot of toxins and my mental clarity. I was just into the music, into the dance moves, in the moment. And today I feel great. I've been feeling great these past two days. And of course, the big seven days until I get married. Why I love it so much. It's just very symbolic to me. The seasons is very symbolic. You know, fall is all about letting go and I need to drink, hold on. Fall is all about letting go of the old or whatever it is that you wanna let go and just kinda embrace that of letting go and just shedding your skin and just shedding things that don't you don't, that does no longer serves you in your life and you no longer need. Fall has become one of my favorite seasons and spring was always my favorite season and I still love spring, but definitely the fall vibes, fall movies, the, it's when you start, you know, decorating your home with all the holidays coming up. And I love Christmas as well, that's my favorite holiday too. But I just love fall because it's like letting go and getting into, you know, the holiday spirit and it's just cozy. Everything is cozy. Now, granted, I live in Arizona and it's not so cozy because it's still hot out right now and it's about 100 degrees, but we're going to work with it and we're still going to have the inner fall vibes. Right, girl? I'm getting married here in Arizona. Most of you don't know, I'm from New York and a lot of my family's there. So I am a little, you know, like sad because my whole family's not going to see me initially getting married even though we are having a big wedding after Japan and however that's going to work. So you know there are those moments that I you know contemplate you know and I'm just you know sad on the inside because I want to have my whole family there and I have those moments but lately I've just really been thinking that I just really want to be more positive that's always my go-to uh, being positive and just living my life. This girl right here is on my lap wanting me to pet her. So I apologize. This is a tea talk and 
rub your fur babies? I really, you know, just looking at how certain things have been affecting me and my mental state and, you know, not really embracing the people that are I am surrounded with and, you know, the positive people that I'm surrounded with and all the good things that are happening and I'm more dwelling on, you know, things that are clearly not important. really want to be, you know, positive and implement the things in my life that do make me happy and, you know, I'm always constantly stressed. I'm taking 25 credits in school and it's stressful to get all this homework done and studying done and I don't get to film as much as I want to film and you know this inner chatter that I have this inner chatter that I'm having that most of us probably have and letting this stress just overtake my spirit, overtake my life, overtake my soul and I've just been comp contemplating this week that I really don't have to do that. I'm obviously stress is going to be stress, but there's always things I'm going to always have things to do and always, you know, time frames to do things and you know, especially since I'm so ambitious, always things that I want to do on my list and think that there's no more time. And really instead of putting all that negative energy or not even negative, lower vibe energy into your mind and having that lower vibe mindset, it's not going to benefit me and and the end result is just going to really be a stress on my soul, be a stress on my spirit, and just be a stress on, it's going to tax my energy, and it's going to tax my body energy, making me tired and fatigued, and it's going to tax my mental energy, being tox, uh, you know, taxing on my mental clarity, and just overall, my whole being as a human being. Actually, what I'm trying to tell you is we have these things, we have this stress and we have, you know, things on the outside world that are gonna happen, but to really see the bigger picture of what is going on in your life. And I've really been thinking, wow, I'm getting married. I've been waiting my whole entire life, for the most part, for this day to come. And what is more in my day is stress because I'm so stressed out with school. And I kind of just want to turn this around, turn my perspective and turn my energy towards the bigger picture. I'm getting married to the person that I love that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And we're going to start a new journey as husband and wife together. And that is my new chapter. And then in one year, I'm going to be moving to Japan. And that's another chapter. And in the between moments, how am I going to grow within this year of not having my husband around? And what, what am I going to do to fill in those gaps besides, you know, having school and working, whatever it is that you do? And I hope this inspires you as a, an individual, if you're independent or not independent, or even military spouses, because I will be a military spouse. I'm going to be a military wife, and if you have someone that is deployed or on a short tour or whatever it is, and they're not with you for a certain time, to really try to embrace that. Yes, you'll have moments where you'll be sad and wish your significant other is going to be, but I'm really putting a positive outlook on it. And of course, when he leaves, I'm gonna be upset and I'll be in a funk for a little bit, but really to see this year as a blessing for me versus a, oh my God, my husband's not gonna be with me, a very depressed, sad outlook. And I don't want that for myself because I am a very independent, ambitious person. And for me, for example, I'm seeing this year as a new beginning, a new chapter, a time for myself to heal certain things that I want to heal and to grow on my relationship, even in a distance aspect. Because I, if you asked me a year ago, not even six months ago, I would have been like, I would never be in a distant relationship and I'm just really learning certain things. I never thought I was going to meet someone on a dating site. I never thought I was going to be married in Arizona. I never thought I was going to be dating a person in the military. And really to never, to take out really the word never thinking or to have that limited thinking and open mindset to not think, oh, that will never be me. Because honestly, you'll never know. And life might just throw you exactly what you would say that it would never be me. I'm going off a little tangent here, but going back into this title, new chapters. For example, for me, 
I'm, you know, making a Arizona bucket list. So wherever it is you live, make a bucket list of things that you can do within that time frame that your significant other is not there or make that time frame what you could just make it a year of things that the goals that you want to do if you're single or even if you're in a relationship and you're lacking motivation make a bucket list of things that you want to do in your area or in your life i'm making an arizona bucket list i'm going to go more hiking i want to you know get back into physical routine i'm going to be changing up my apartment so stay tuned because there will be a new apartment tour because Devin will be getting a shipment taking, so the guest bedroom, the bed will be out of there and a few things will be moved around and stuff, so stay tuned on that. And I'm gonna be changing it up, and that's also what I love about the seasons, because you're changing the, you're putting out the holiday decorations, you're changing up the energy in your space. So not only focus on a positive energy, a positive mental energy and physical body, and putting yourself into a healthy routine, start to think of things in your home that you can move around and change around and make new energy in your own space. I promise you, it will make you feel better. It makes me feel better every time. And I'll definitely put some clips of the new, the fall things that I have, because I have the same fall things, but I've been, I put them in different places. But stay tuned for a future apartment tour because we are going to be changing things up here. And essentially, I'm going to be making this my own space because I'm going to be living in this apartment for a year by myself since my future husband will be on his short tour. Now, I am very blessed that he does have a mid tour and I will see him for 30 days and we're gonna split it up 15 to 15 days probably within that year. I'm very blessed with that, but also, you know, I did have my dad who was in the military who was gone for six months without me seeing him. So I've experienced that as well. So I have a little bit of a history with that of my father, you know, leaving. But a year is a big thing and especially when it's your significant other to leave. And of course, there will be moments where, again, I'm probably repeating myself that I will be lonely and I will be sad. But this is how I'm going to set myself up for success. I'm going to make a, a Arizona budget list. I'm going to make a routine list, whether it's my morning, night routine, and start, you know, building up my spirit and start, start building myself up of things to look forward to. And so that I just don't have, you know, studying school and studying for tests and stuff. But I have to, things to look forward to and to implement to, in my daily day and plan it in. And I will be making a planner plan with me for probably October, uh, October plan with me, just because I ordered this planner two weeks ago and I didn't receive it and they lost the package. So they're resending it and I should be getting the planner next week. So there's a lot coming guys. And hopefully I could get, you know, stuff into my schedule here and there. Especially since Devin won't be here, I'll have those empty, empty pocket times to film. But I won't know how long it will take me to edit and stuff just because I will be studying and stuff. But anyway, I talked about that in my other video. This is about new chapters and having a new outlook in life. And just to get you inspired to start thinking, yes, this... This is a new chapter, new me. And not to say that you shouldn't accept the, the moment where you're in in the present moment, but I love, you know, creating things and creativity. Having creativity really boosts my soul and really feeds my spirit and it feeds my soul to have creativity and to be inspired and to create new energy and just be happy about life and happy about goals that I have. I'm not sure where my outro went, but you got the gist of the, this video, new chapters and new beginnings. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful September. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.